Hello, in this video I'm going to be replacing this Eureka central vac system with a Husky Storm system. You can have a look at one of my previous videos where I do the unboxing of uh, the Husky Storm. But in this video I'm going to be replacing this system and uh, installing the system the no longer works. I think the engine, uh, the motor is having an issue. It has a bit of a burnt smell to it and it uh, will no longer turn on. So I've unplugged it and I'll be uh, taking it apart and removing it from the wall. So the bottom was taken off of it. Now I just gotta remove the bag. The bag is empty because I thought there was an issue with it earlier. And that was the, I thought that was the problem and that the bag was full. So I replaced it and obviously it sort of didn't work and then uh, realized there were bigger issues with it. So now I need to figure out how to remove it from the wall. The part was easy. I'm not sure if I'm going to need that on the, the new system or not. But let's keep everything together. Also need to figure out how uh, this piece here comes off which joins into the rest of the house and this is the power here which uh, they should just pull it gotta get it get up on a ladder and get a closer look and then that just goes out there. And these two wires actually just pull it right out pretty easily from what I can tell this yeah this just slips right off now just need to remove the unit from the wall. Seems that it's on with these brackets. I'm not sure if there's any screws in place. But I'm going to try just lifting the entire unit upwards and see if it, uh, it slides off. So that actually worked. It was quite easy. Slide it off. It just fits right onto those two brackets there. And it wasn't screwed onto the wall so you can just see where it was. So right from the start of my install, I see I have uh, an issue that the air intake is on the top of, uh, of this cleaner, vacuum cleaner, and mine is obviously on the side. So I'm going to need to uh, pick up some tubing and some angles and some glue so I can get this uh, installed properly here. It is possible, however, for me to mount the uh, vacuum cleaner on the wall without the tubing in place, of course. So I'm going to go and get that started. After looking all over for the mounting plate for the unit, it seems they have it located actually right here on the back. I'm assuming this is it. There's nothing really clear in the instructions about it, but I'm going to give this a cut and, and see what happens. Yes, I'm assuming this is the mounting plate. Go on like that. Something similar to that, I'm assuming. There we go, that's how it'll be mounted. I'm going to assume that the uh, previous owners in, at this house installed the central vac into a stud. So it's going to confirm. Something right there. And right now, electrical, there's no stud. Okay, so they didn't put it into a stud. But there is a stud right here that I could use, and a stud over here. So I'm going to have to put some sort of <clears throat> bracing system on the back, either a piece of plywood or some, uh, some sheet metal or something, so that when I put on my bracket, uh, and then install the vacuum that can support the weight. So there's going to be some extra work uh, required for that. So I've marked off where my studs are. And now I just need to find a piece of plywood 
that is at least 17 inches. So I'll probably get one that's 20, so I have some, some room to play with. And uh, it'll have to be a little higher than this piece here. So probably, I wanna say eight inches in height. And uh, so eight by 20, I'll get that cut out and uh, installed. All right, so I've got my eight by 20 piece of plywood ready to go. Just got to uh, get it cut. So I've got my board cut and I've indicated where I need to drill the holes. And now I'll install it on the wall. So I've got my mounting board in place and I don't really like how the paint job is around it or on the mounting board. So this seems like a good opportunity to paint it. And since I found the uh, paint that I used last year, I'm going to do a quick paint job. Okay, so I got my board in place and I put two coats of paint on it. So I'll have it with the results. Uh, before I mount the uh, central back, I'm going to uh, cut off this pipe here so I can get easier access to it since, uh, since there's nothing in my way now. I'm just going to get a hacksaw and uh, cut that off at the, uh, at the top right there. So a quick demo here on how I uh, cut the, uh, the pipe using this tool right here. There you go, as easy as that. For a side note, this is a muffler which came on my old vacuum cleaner. And uh, it's just a, a larger piece of plastic and inside there's, there's a foam membrane. And uh, I'm gonna take this and reuse it since the Husky Storm didn't come with a muffler. But it does have a spot for one. So I'm just gonna be installing that just there like that, once I get it put up on the wall. So my next step was to install the mounting bracket with the, the included screws. So the issue I'm having right now when I'm in, trying to install the vacuum is with this screw right here. It's, uh, it's butting up against it, so I need something flatter, a different screw in there. That one's not gonna work. So I replaced it with this screw here. Hopefully that, uh, that, that works a little better. So that seems to have worked. Brackets up through the middle there, and it seems like the second one there, so it will pull out. So I picked up some of the vacuum pipe at Home Depot and just did a dry install. And now I'm ready to glue the pieces in place. There you have it. The uh, tubing has all been put into place and glued, so that's ready to go. Next step is to open the bags up and uh, put them in place. Oh, very nice material, very soft, and the bag is actually uh, quite large. So 
So to put the bag in place, I'm assuming it's just sliding it on over. Sliding it on over this piece right here. You have a stretch as you're putting it on. Once you get it over the, the, the bump, then you'll be able to feel the bump just inside the bag, and then you know it's uh, over security. So my next step is to attach these blue end pieces. So I've got my wire and it's already stripped. And uh, in order to crimp the end, just using a pair of pliers, the piece that's used to cut the wires, and I uh, just crimp it good and tight. Got to put a dent in it, and then the wire, the wire won't come out. Next, I'm going to plug these wires into the central back. I've wrapped it around the pipe just so that it's the, a good length. And then it doesn't matter which one it goes into. Just put it into place there and it will just slide in. It's a bit tough to get it in there, it's a bit, a bit stiff, but there we go. It's in place. canister fits but it's obviously not real tight I don't think that really matters but uh, let's plug it in and see what happens so I'm just going to run a quick test here I actually have an outlet in my garage here so I'm just going to plug it in turn it on and we'll see what happens A little bit of a delay there when you turn it off before it uh, shuts off all the way. And uh, I'm just going to put a, an elbow up there where the uh, the air comes out. I don't think I'm going to need the muffler on it. I'll do it. I'll try it again here and see if there's any difference in the sound. But I don't think I, I don't think I need it. No, I don't think I need it. It's uh, actually quite quiet without it. Uh, the old system that I had in place was, was very loud so I'm just going to remove that uh, remove that muffler. Alright so here's a quick demo from inside. So it's the the, the, the one with the double uh, pipes goes on the power nozzle. That's because there's a set of wires that actually run through through this. You use the foot release there to drop it. It has a nice swivel. And let's turn it on. So it fits together nicely and then there's a large button on the front there. Alright, and we'll turn it on. So the red light, green light shows you when there's dirt detected. Doesn't really matter to me, but uh, I guess it's a nice feature to have. So I had a quick opportunity to try out the floor brush. And uh, you notice there's a lot of cat fur on it. And it's the brushes are level. Normally the front brush is a little bit lower than the rest or it has large indentations on it. This has a few small ones for some dirt to get through. Seems like uh, the little bit of vacuum I did 
and the slate there you just collect it to here so I'm uh, not really sure if I like that also have some kitty litter around of course because I have cats and it seems to just push the kitty litter around instead of actually collecting it and then and the vacuuming it up so I'll uh, be looking for another type of floor brush that uh, that can actually pick up stuff without collecting it or and pushing it away from the, uh, the the end piece this is the type of floor brush I was referring to with an opening in the front which allows the dirt to enter and on the back of the brush the uh, bristles go right to the floor which helps pick up any dirt which was missed uh, so that concludes my video on the installation and a quick review of the Husky Storm. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks.